Hello, I'm a faceless businessman. My life is as unique as that gray sedan. Or is it that one? Or... Look, a Burlwood trimmed glove compartment for my favorite five cell phones, just like a Mercedes E-Class. Then another for my five work phones. And another for my four burner phones, which I never use to call sex lines. Heated seats, heated grips, ABS. This is a sophisticated executive sedan. Just happens to have two wheels, but Businessmen need to carry many important things. Oh, my travel pack of business cards, bone, silly and rail font, very nice. It fits my briefcase. <gasps> anyway, there's still room for more businessman kit. Some spare rope, my knee pads, and four kilos of, uh, yep, four of those. That's 56 liters in total, lit, lockable, watertight. I'm sold on conducting a feasibility study of including the Bergman in my potential long list of considered vehicles. Our market analysis puts the luxury scooter in the same category as the bacon latka. Sounds great, but when you think about it, might not be many buyers. Yet here's one consumer, I've had over 50 motorcycles in my life, hardly used Hondas, but I bought a Bergman as a joke, and now I never ride anything else. Comfy chair echoes this engineering unicorn will waste any motorcycle while keeping my khakis spotless. Bold, yet ubiquitous claims merit further study. <laughs> this scooter packs a 638cc parallel twin. It's the Suzuki Hafabusa. At 160 millimeters wide, the rear tire is ripped off a Ducati Monster. Only the wheels are 14 inches short, so it turns more nimble. Since the engine is under floor at the height of the discs, there's less breakdown. And manual mode puts the scooter in Scooteria with Tiptronic thumb shifters that are quicker than clutching. This side of a racetrack can confirm. Our Bergman handles better than most motorcycles. I still maintain that having a 638cc scooter is like having a 638mm wiener. 
Ostensibly, that's more masculine, but show it to a lady, she's just gonna think it's weird. Then again, there's something hilarious about a scooter that will spank leader bikes with lazy shifters. Passing cars at 190 with your loafers crossed is also a rare joy. Right, so let's pause the power discussion because it's actually the gearing. Gearing. That's special. Most scoots have constantly variable transmissions. Oversimplified, the CVT is a belt on a conical pulley. That drives the rear wheel. As you speed up, centrifugal force moves the belt further up the pulley, widening the gear ratio alongside your speed. Power spread all the way up the speedometer with no gear changes. Or with infinite and continuous gear changes if you prefer to see the glass half full of piss. I'll pour more urine in your cup by mentioning belt torque. I'm sure centrifugal drivel wants to throw the belt outward, but tension on a ramped pulley? That makes it want to pull inward. Slip, 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 surge. <laughs> Even this 50cc wimp is enough to screw with its CVT belt. So if CVTs don't like torque, and Bergman's are 62 Newton meter torque monsters, how do we marry the two? The secret, as in most marriages, is forced compliance. Suzuki patented a gear-driven system that moves and holds the variator wherever its ECU deems optimal. So in automatic mode, our Bergman actually does wind up flawlessly. It feels and sounds like my own private jet turbine. The more I twist my wrist, the more it pulls. Constant power from zero, to damn near 200. I could tell you the Bergman goes zero to 60 in 6.8 seconds. I could tell you that the Mona Lisa is 77 centimeters tall, but that's not the point. It's the power delivery that's a masterpiece. back here. Now if it's faster than half the motorcycles, nimbler, comfier, stabler, no heat, drier weather protection, better storage, you can step through with bad knees, shift with arthritic thumbs, I mean, why aren't we all out riding burdens? Bad marketing. The Suzuki Tempter sounded like a sex predator. The Suzuki Gladius sounded like a receptionist. And the Suzuki Bergman sounds exactly like a 600-pound scooter. Not such a bad thing in continental Europe, where scoots are cool, and near-motorcycle scoots are even cooler. But in North America, the Maxi Scooter suffers the same fate as the Maxi Pad, where being close to something sexy somehow makes it not sexy at all. Sexy. I'll take it. I'll take you. Meaning... Oh, no. Bergman executive is gone. 
discontinued, leaving only its memory on the faces of businessmen. 